Japan and I'm going to be staying at a capsule hotel for 14 nights. Hey. As this is Tokyo Thrift, one of the major saving points for me were to stay at capsule hotels. For just about $30 a night, I was able to save on big bucks to put towards spending on other things such as anime goods. But here at the Suirobashi 9 Hours Capsule Hotel, there are a total of 8 different floors dividing the female and male sections. And here on the 4th floor are the lockers, bathrooms and showers for the men. Alright, here's the little locker. Alright, alright. We got a little amenity bag as well. And inside of that bag includes a couple of towels, slippers, pajamas that don't exactly fit me, as well as a toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, oh how I've missed you. <sighs> Bidet. Here on the 6th floor features the lounge with the 360 view of the city. And here on the 3rd floor is where I'll find my sleeping pod. It is important to note that you should be wearing the slippers they provide you, not your outdoor shoes. And of course, be quiet. Gonna shower, gonna sleep. Once arriving to the average size shower, I was greeted with an interesting message. Droplets flow down over your body, gently immersing you in a new shower experience. The straight columnar spray pattern traps heat and delivers warm droplets to your body. A showering experience that will seem like a relaxing soak in a warm bathtub. And the following morning, I went back up to the mixed lounge area to check out the view during the day. And the cool thing about this specific 9 hours capsule hotel is that it's right across from the very first hotel that I stayed at during my trip to Japan last year. So it's all pretty nostalgic and cool to be starting at the same place as I did in the previous Japan trip. Alright, this is our last night here in the Suirobashi 9 hours capsule hotel. We're gonna head over to Sendai now. But before we head over to Sendai, let's go ahead and check out this cool little thing that this 9 hours provided me with, which is a sleep fit scan. Um, apparently it tracks like different metrics of my sleep, such as like snoring, uh, body temperature, amount of sleep, quality of sleep, a bunch of different stuff. So let's check it out. Introduction. Thank you for applying for our sleep checkup plan. Please read the following information before going through the sleep measurement report. Blah, 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 blah. Bunch of disclaimers. There we go. Information. Let's go. All right. Your sleep status. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> so I did get multiple um, emails for this. I'm not going to go through every single night, but I will go through like a, a handful of them. So uh, sleep time, seven hours and 51 minutes. Pretty solid, a good eight hours of sleep. I wonder how accurate this is though. Like how does it actually know exactly how much time you actually slept? Science, bedtime and wake up time. So I went to sleep this night at 11.30 p.m. Pretty late and I woke up at seven in the morning, early. <laughs> That's early for me to be honest. Sleep onset time, sleep latency, eight minutes. Is that like how long it took me to go to sleep? Like I woke up 11 times. Okay, wow, that's actually a lot more than I would have imagined. Uh, sleep efficiency, 88%. I get good sleep. Uh, deep sleep, 81 minutes. Oh, interesting. So that's like the REM, the REM sleep, right? I rolled over 22 times, apparently. Snored one beat an hour. Didn't know that I snored. Maximum that even has the volume. 29 decibels. Okay, that's the maximum. Number of abnormal breathing, 26 times an hour. Number of stopped breathing for 10 plus seconds, one time. And it was for 10 seconds. That's actually kind of concerning. Is that something I should be, uh, should that, is that something I should, uh, be concerned about? Is that something I should look into? 10 seconds without breathing, what? Heart rate and variability. 69 plus or minus 12 beats a minute? Is that what it is? Hmm, that seems low. That seems really low, actually. What the heck? Irregular heartbeat frequency, nine times an hour. What? I guess that's, I, I, don't, I don't really understand that. Okay, next. Basic knowledge about sleep. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. You can go ahead and read that if you want. Basic knowledge about sleep, okay, more. And then I saw this when I first looked at this. <laughs> it actually features pictures. Or not, like blurred out looking pictures of like the sleep in a bunch of uh, like data graphs. All very interesting stuff. But let's check out another day. All right, here's another day. This day I got much less sleep. Uh, nearly midnight, woke up at 6.30. Only 48 sleep efficiency. I got, I got no deep sleep as well. This must have just not been a good night. <laughs> it's so funny that the um, the number of rollovers uh, is a is a stat that they uh, they keep track of. And apparently, I, I rolled over 19 times. Okay, this time, at least this time, at least this night, I didn't I didn't have uh, an abnormal breathing of like no, of like a time where I just stopped breathing for 10 plus seconds. And more pictures. <laughs> I like, I like how some of them are just me on my phone. Let's check on- Oh my god, nine and a half hours? I, I feel like that's- that can't be correct. Wait a second. That's not- that's not a- that's not a time that's possible. 10 for, 1041 to 870? 870 AM. Yes. It's not only a capsule hotel, it's a hyperbolic time chamber, apparently. I've rolled over 26 times. Wow, and I got a lot more deep sleep in this one. Alright, in this one- Ten hours? Ten hours? That cannot be right. Ten hours of sleep? Holy. I'm still snoring, apparently. Thirteen seconds without breathing. In my sleep. That- That, <laughs> that seems- that's, that, that, that does not seem right. But I guess- I guess so, okay. Oh, wow. In this one, all the pictures of me are just straight up sleeping. Okay, we're back to normal in this one. Seven hours, 46 minutes of sleep. 30 decibels. I think that's the math. I think that's the highest uh, volume snore that I had yet. And then the last one that I'm going to check out. Nearly nine hours of sleep. <laughs> that's actually kind of, it's kind of funny considering that the, uh, this capsule hotel chain is called nine hours. And then again with the no breathing for 12 seconds. Very interesting information here. Honestly, really cool to see this kind of like this kind of information that I would have never known otherwise. But uh, yeah, if you ever go to a nine hours uh, and when you're booking it, do do look out for this sleep fit scan if you want to see this information for yourself for your own sleep habits. But on to Sendai. All right, well, thank you, nine hours Sudabashi. And now we head over to Sendai.
Here in Sendai, their nine hours is slightly different with the lockers, showers, restrooms, and sleep pods all located on the same floor. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is that there are actually designated areas for you to dispose of your used towels and assorted trash. Who dyed their hair? Alright, but here are the showers. It's actually nice. It's like the one in uh, Hamamasucho, where we'll be going next. It has stairs, two shelves, standard shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Nice little chamber. And then all the sinks. Toilet. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those. Fancy. forgot to show this nine hours has a different pajama <laughs> kind of like this one a lot more Made it back to Tokyo, just dropped off the luggage at the next nine hours for the final, uh, what was it, three, four nights? Now, in the last journey across Japan, back in July, this is the final hotel that I stayed at. So it's all very nostalgic. And I'm very excited to see that rooftop view again from that hotel. time I was here I think I had 813 very prime spot honestly got all that space this place has 10 floors with the rooftop lounge very excited to see that once again yeah so for context I was here at the same exact nine hours back in July during journey across Japan And here it is, the epic view of Tokyo Tower. And we're not even at the top yet. Let's keep on going. This is definitely one of my favorite spots of this whole entire hotel, of course. Heck yeah. Come back here at night. It's gonna look so good, especially with Tokyo Tower right perfectly smack dab in the middle. Look at that view. Such a good view. Jeez. And we're not even that high up. Heck yeah. 
I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely get a drink and just sit here later on tonight, probably. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you. See you later tonight. All right. Nine hours. Oh, does it look like I just got the shower? No, that's sweat. Just got done organizing the luggage. And now, shower. Well deserved the shower. Refreshing. Uh, this nine hours uses the same one as Sudabashi. So the top part does not fit me. So I guess I'm going to wear my own shirt. Yo, I know I did not eat that much. Why are these pants so tight? <laughs> Bro. All right, here on the capsule floor. And it appears, oh, and there's a balcony here. Cool. And two. I got the top capsule this time. Oh god. The rain calmed down a bit, so went up to the rooftop here. Whoa, a little slippery. But phew, look at that view. This is just so awesome. This is definitely, I think, the best nine hours of the three we stayed at this far, just because of this view. Ah, so nostalgic to see this again. This is where I ended journey across Japan back in July and this is where I'll end Tokyo Thrift we still have Tuesday night Wednesday night and then Thursday we check out and fly out ah at least I get to bask in this view for a couple more days all right I'm gonna call it there for tonight thank you all for watching bye bye I think that was the best night of sleep I've had yet. These beds are very comfortable compared to other places. Oh, I must have lost weight today. These are a lot uh, backier than yesterday. Nope, I just got a larger size. That's it. That was, what, 13 nights, 14 nights at a capsule hotel. Will I ever do that again? 
if I have to. Overall, it wasn't too bad. More in the review later. So yeah, if you're looking to explore Japan or just Tokyo on a budget for just $30 a night, the 9 Hours Capsule Hotel is a great choice. With all its amenities, great locations, and ease of use, it's definitely worth to give it a go. But personally, I probably would not recommend doing it for a whole two weeks. But with that, that's the end of this episode of Tokyo Thrift. Only two more episodes left. The next one, we fly home. See you there.